would you even be able to afford a small mistake with your life savings? What would you prefer? Risking crores worth of money or spend a small percentage of that crores worth of fund, which is completely insignificant in the larger scheme of affairs, but have an added insurance that if something goes wrong, you are well protected. এজন সাধারণ মানুষে শান্তি তেতিয়াহে পায় যেতে কাম শেষ করে নিজের ঘরল উভতি যায় নিজের ঘরটে প্রতিজন মানুষের মনলেক সুরক্ষা আর সকাহর ভাব লো আহে জীবনের উত্থান পতনত ঘর আর পরিয়ালেই তো সদায় আপনার লগতে থাকে প্রত্যেকজন দেশবাসীর যেন নিজাক একটা ঘর থাকে এই আশা করিয়েই আমি লো আছো একটা বিশেষ সিরিজ নিউ ভোকো প্রেজেন্টস ঘর সাজক নিজের আ নিউজ এইটিন ইনিশিয়েটিভ ইয়াত আপনার আমার এক্সপার্টসে নিজের ঘর এটা কেক সাজিব সেই বিষয়ে সম্পূর্ণক তথ্য পাতি জানাব মাতি কিনার পিছত প্রথম পদক্ষেপ হল অনুমতি আর মঞ্জুরি লোট যার বিষয়ে আমি আগতে কথা পাতি এটা কথা পাতিম বাজেটিং আর ফাইন্যান্সর এইখিনিতে এটা কথা জনাত দরকারি যে আমার প্রয়োজনীয় ঘর তো সাজুতে বারো কি টাকা খরচ হব পে Let's assume that you have a plot of 3,000 square feet and for the family size of say 6 people, husband, wife, parents and the kids, they should have roughly 1,500 square feet to 2,000 square feet built-up area. With the built-up area of 1,500 to 2,000 square feet, it should cost you 3,500 rupees per square feet. This is how our interiors are going to be less or less. গতি বাজেটিং আপনি ইন্টেরিয়র্সর খরচও যোগ দিব নহলে পিছত গিয়ে হিসাবত খেলিমেলি লাগিব পারে ওয়েন ইট কামস টু ফি স্ট্রাকচার দে আর মাল্টিপল ওয়েজ টু আপ্রোচ ইট দে আর কোয়াইট আ ফিউ এক্সিস্টিং স্ট্যান্ডার্ডস ইন দ্য মার্কেট ওয়ে সার্টেন ডিজাইনার্স টেন টু চার্জ অ পার্সেন্টেজ অফ the money spent on a project certain designers like to charge uh, based on the area of your project like a set number if you have a 2000 square foot project they'll charge anywhere ranging from 200 rupees to 2000 rupees a square foot for designing based on the experience that they bring in another way which is quite common uh, and a term that's used in the market is turnkey interiors where the interior designer is also executing the entire project with his own contracting team. And at that stage, he would sort of give you an overall budget like uh, 2,000 rupees or 5,000 rupees, 10,000 rupees a square foot. That would include his designing fee, all the materials and the execution expenses that would entail for the project. It is our Anumanik Kharastu Gompai Gul. এটা সময় আহিল আপনার সঞ্চয়ের প্রতি চকু দি লোনের হিসাব নিকাশ করার হোম লোনত আজিকালি সুদর হার কমি গল গতি ইয়ার সুবিধা লওয়াই উচিত interest rates that was given by the banks nbfc and financial institutions in this country was at a low of 16 years so what has happened is that if you look at this interest rate here it was in 2004 the interest rate was about 9% in 2020 the interest rate we have seen is, is sub six and a half to seven percent so which is like uh, you know it was so so uh, important for the consumers to get this kind of interest rate so this six and a half percent as compared to the 2004 2005 levels which reached at nine percent and again in 2020 22 we are estimating this interest rates to go up by 100 to 200 basis points and maybe in the next couple of years you will see this interest rates coming back to the same eight and a half to nine percent level so i think this is something that is going to be the scenario this 200 basis points will not happen overnight it will take at least two years from now to do it you have just seen that rbi has raised the repo rates from 4% to 4.4% now this repo rates will keep increasing because the money is going to be costly in the coming two, two years in the indian economy and the major reason what we are seeing why this money is going to be costly is that inflation has gone up to 7% loanor bikhoy janar pisot ei kothao jana awashyok je bank e apunak kiman loan dibo pare yar babe jogyotar mandondo ki আপনার জানা দিব বিচার যে নিয়ম অনুসরি মাটি ডোখর মূল্যের সর্বাধিক আশি শতাংশ আপনি লোন হিসাবে পাব পারে 
what you can do is there are two ways that you can upload this documentation if you apply through a directly lender you can upload all your documents on the lender website or they can even go and maybe apply through digital aggregators and these guys can direct indirectly send that particular documentation to the banks or nbfcs where you are applying for there has never been such a consumer friendly innovation that we have seen this does not take more than 25 30 minutes for a consumer to upload a particular document apply because these the way it has been built all the eligibility criteria are already based on algorithms where customer can put in name date of birth income and the property details where he is applied or where he wants wants the loan for and where he is staying currently because some of the cities are eligible for loans some of the cities are not eligible loans depending on the demographics that you live in and these aggregators will mobilize you to the right lender so you don't have to go to 10 different lenders to understand which lender will give me this loan or not but with this digital aggregators you can just have a choice of the lender plus also you will have an eligibility which is very well defined that these are the three lenders or two lenders which will offer you this home loan and they will also display you the rates on which this loans will be given so there is a very important tool called as project report which an architect can actually give it to the client which will be very helpful for a client to borrow loan from any of the financial institutions project report consists of two important things one is a actual design of the bungalow and second is a cost estimation in a elaborative way so once this project report is submitted to the bank it is easy for them to process for the loan ekinite ei kotha kowa to abashyok je amar dekhot khudro loan or sahida beshi ar ei sahida jubok hokolor para agot koi beshi hoy porise real estate or joriyote dekhonor ortho byabosthar proti jubo sampradayer obodan jothesto guruttopurno ei biniyoge tax o bosai diye So what we are seeing in real estate is that lot of millennials have started contributing. There is a huge uptake that we are seeing from a home loan demand perspective. We are seeing a lot of uptake in terms of even the plot loan perspective in terms of the way the banks are doing. To give you a broad number, today 22 lakh crore has been disbursed as a book value for home loans right now. It is growing at a massive rate of 12%. The last 4 years itself, this growth has been like 32% in the country. the ticket size which was 24 lakhs on an average has now moved to 28 lakhs in the last couple of years so ticket size has improved for home loans now as far as the plot is concerned you only get a benefit of atc which is for 1.5 lakhs for the year which is only payable for repayment of principal amount aur dusra hota 24d which is for interest repayment सो so, ये दोनों जब आप होम लोन लेते हैं दे आर एप्लीकेबल विच इज़ फॉर टू लैख रुपीज तो ओवरऑल पुट टुगेदर 1.5 पॉइंट फाइव लैक्स फॉर योर रिपेमेंट ऑन नॉर्मल रिपेमेंट एंड टू लैक्स ऑन योर इंटरेस्ट रिपेमेंट दैट यू डू टू अ लेंडर और अ फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन यू कैन गेट अ रिपेट दिस इज हाउ एज पर द न्यू टैक्सेशन कोड दैट वी हैव इन द कंट्री राइट नाउ ओवरऑल आपके पास टोटल किटी है थ्री पॉइंट फाइव लैख रुपीज तक का रिपेट लेने का ऑन अ टैक्सीबल इनकम हाउसिंग फॉर ऑल अर्थात सकोरे घर हक एक कथ भारत सरकार सजाग निजर जाते घर हम पे सरकार प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजनार दौरे योजना आरम्भ कर लाभ इ डब्ल्यू एस लई मध्यबित्त श्रेणी पाधरी से there is a scheme known as pradhan mantri awas yojana which got established in 2015 and it is till 2022 it is basically nothing but a home loan for all scheme is for ews which is economic weaker section it is for low income group it is for middle income group 1 and it is for middle income group 2 how does this categorized any household which is an income household income of 0 to 3 lakhs is categorized as ews which is economic weaker sections household which is known as lig which is low income group is between 3 to 6 lakhs mig which is medium or middle income group it is from 6 to 12 lakhs and for middle income group 2 it is from 12 to 18 lakhs so these are the four categories under this particular scheme in this what happens is that ews and your lig gets an instant subsidy of about 6.4% to a maximum amount of 2.6 lakhs and the mig 1 gets it about 4% and mig 2 gets about 3% of interest subsidy and this particular subsidy cannot exceed more than 2.3 lakh rupees for mig1 and mig2 so this is a broad scheme which has been given by the prime minister of india for all the sections that we have described with the kind of incomes that these households have so this is a very simple scheme customer doesn't have to do anything 
whenever they go to a bank they can fill their form there is a form that is available with all the nationalized and all the banks that is available which operates it and you can opt into that particular form saying that i want to apply for a ews quota or lig quota or mig1 or mig2 so all these four options are there in an application form and this scrutiny happens through bank itself now the second point that i want to take is that once you take the scheme you cannot take any other scheme so this is the second factor that you need to take into consideration if you are taking this scheme no other scheme will get applicable to you from a customer standpoint there is a huge number of customers who have taken this scheme and they are getting a benefit of 2.6 lakhs kind of a subsidy on a ews and an lig income group that we talk about खरसर हिसाब पाति और जोरा मरारे लोन लार प्रक्रिया इतना निश्चय अपना सहज हो रब जदे कथा पैसा संक्रांत है तं अति सर भूल पीछे गई भयंकर पड़े Would you even like be able to afford a small mistake with your life savings? What would you prefer? Risking crores worth of money, uh, having a huge potential financial exposure with no means to recover it, or spend a small percentage of that crores worth of fund, which is completely insignificant in the larger scheme of affairs, but have an added insurance that if something goes wrong, you are well protected and you can see that money coming back to you. Bottom line, get yourself a real estate lawyer. Let me put it in context for you. The collaborator or the builder who may be interested in your plot of land would have to necessarily conduct a due diligence on whether you, the home owner, has sufficient legal title to be able to contract. And on the other hand, the home owner will have to do a due diligence on the financial aspects and viability of the project on the contractor's side. Insurance, आज की date में अगर हम देखता जाएँ तो majority the customers take the liability because it's a fixed expense that you make it. आपके जेब से पैसा जा रहा है, it is not coming in. But अगर if I look at it from a personal perspective, it's a guard against any kind of a calamity, any kind of ill thing that can happen to anybody. In spite of the fact it's a cash outflow, but I think it gives you peace of mind, it gives you security that you want, and that is very critical for any consumer that I would say in the current dynamic world that we live in. Even take help from your financial advisor who can give you an advice in which is the best home insurance that you take for what purpose, and then you can bundle into your overall cost. and they can give it the only advantage when you take a bundled offer with a bank or nbfc is that it gets into your emi you don't have to pay additional amount from your pocket which will not happen if you do it outside that particular insurance company so i would say it's a call that you could take some of the insurance companies that these banks or nbfcs have they are also very good in terms of their operations processes claim ratios if that works well for you you can bundle it with your emi and your emi outflow will go higher it can be bundled into your loan itself and that can be processed through your emis that you do never make a mistake of understanding architect and contractors are one basically architect and contractors are two different entities architect is a professional who actually understands the entire process of designing and building the house so architect understand your financial planning your requirement your ideas and he is the one who actually can justify to your requirement in the right direction be it designing be it your execution be it your project management when it comes to budgeting your dream home i think it's important to note that you don't have to do all of it at once you can always space it out you can focus on more functional elements of your house and break your budget uh, over a bunch of years where you approach the aesthetic elements later on when you're working on a tight budget घर सजते बजेट प्लानिंग पीछे समय आरतर विरतर पीछे कथ पातीम नियम विषय जीव घर सजार आगते ही जना उचित बजेट और फाइनेसर विषय एपुन जथेष कथा निश्चय बुझी पाले अपनी कन्स्ट्राक्शन आरम्भ कर आगते और लगे किसान बेसिक नियम कानून जानि लब जीवर कन्स्ट्राक्शन आपुनी जथेष सहयोग 
we have 28 states and 8 union territories. 28 states will have their own land laws, their own zoning laws. The 8 union territories though will come necessarily under the central government schemes but they will also have their own municipal corporations. It becomes complex. Now what happens is uh, when you go independently to a bank they would ask you for a certain set of documents and you would ordinarily just give it to them. What we would do if uh, we are servicing a client is we first understand these documents. We see what are the data that you're sharing. We may even advise you that, you know, in this financial year, do not plan to buy. Uh, let's improve your financial health a little bit and then commit to a situation like this where you want to go and approach a bank or an NBFC to raise a loan. Let's imagine a scenario. There are two people, separate people, separate entities, but essentially individuals. Individual A, individual B, let's call them person A, person B. Now person A walks into the bank very casually and says, Mr. Banker, I have 10% of the amount which is available to me in my savings account. Could you please give me a loan for the balance 90% and the, the, the property costs this much amount of rupees. The banks would have a SOP ready saying that there will be a, there, there will be a general checklist saying that okay I need your income tax proof, I need your bank account statements, I need your employment records, pay slips, how much time have you been in the industry and so on and so forth. They would run the due diligence in the background and based on your property which you have identified, the risks involved and all of that, they would simply have an internal report which is never shared. Now let's talk about person B. Now person B has a lawyer, takes the lawyer and goes and meets the banker. Now the conversation changes. Instead of you asking the bank for just money, you are now asking for a very specific product of the bank. You want to buy a house, which is a built-up property on a plot of land. Now you would go for a home loan, very similar to say a flat or an apartment as well, because it is structured, it has already been built. You would want to get a home loan. Things change when you are trying to uh, acquire only a plot of land which is not built up. Ordinarily, banks will not give you a home loan on that particular plot of land. You will possibly apply for a plot loan which is very different to a home loan because the interest rates are higher. There are certain different terms and conditions attached to that loan. For example, a home loan can go from 20 years to 30 years on a interest rate which may vary and right now um, it's, it's quite favorable um, in fact in the market to actually have a home loan. However, a plot loan on the other hand would be slightly expensive because there will be certain more risks involved to it. পরীক্ষার ভাবে জিমানে ভাল কই খাজু হবো হিমানে ই উজু হবো কে আমার পরামর্শ হল অ্যাকশন মডুলে যোয়ার আগতে চেকলিস্ট আপনি খাজু করি লওয়া উচিত যাতে আপনি একই না পাহরে আর আপনার প্রতিটু খোঁজ হপনর ঘরটোর দিখলৈ দৃঢ়তারে আগ বড়াবো পারে আই থিং ইয়ে চিজ আপকো ক্লিয়ার হোনা চাই কি ও প্লট আপ লে কিউরে ইজ ইট এন ইনভেস্টমেন্ট স্ট্র্যাটেজি অর ইয়ার গোইং টু মেক ইট লাইক আ ডুয়েলিং ইউনিট ফর ইউ ওয়েন ইউ আর টেকিং দিস প্লট এক চিজ আপ উসমে ধ্যান রাখিয়ে कि जब भी आप ये ले रहे हैं तो इसका कितना टैक्सेशन बेनिफिट आपको मिलने वाला है इसका आपको कितना आपको टैक्स गवर्नमेंट को देना पड़ेगा किसी ना किसी फॉर्म में लाइक प्रॉपर्टी टैक्स और वहाँ का जो एरिया म्यूनिसपल टैक्स है वो सब चीज़ें भी कैलकुलेट करिए एंड देन यू शुड बी एबल टू फिगर इट आउट द एग्जैक्ट आउटफ्लो दैट यू गोइंग टू मेक ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर प्लॉट वेन यू आर लिविंग देअ दो चीज़ें हमेशा से हमने देखा है कि हैपन वन आपका टाइम और कॉस्ट ओवर रन हो सकता है आज अगर मैं सोच रहा हूँ कि इफ आई विल कंस्ट्रक्ट अ होम इन सिक्स मंथ्स हमने देखा है कि सिक्स मंथ्स में नहीं बारह महीने में कंस्ट्रक्ट होगा तो देर इज़ अ टाइम ओवर रन विच इज़ ऑलरेडी हैपन देन देर इज़ अ कॉस्ट ओवर रन अगर आज मैं देख रहा हूँ आज यूक्रेन का वॉर नो बडी न्यू वन मंथ वन एंड हाफ मंथ बैक देर विल अ वॉर एंड यूक्रेन वर्सेज रशिया सो यूर सीमेंट प्राइसिस विल गो आप यूर स्टील प्राइसिस विल गो आप यूर ऑल यूर आयरन प्राइसिस आर गोइंग आप इम्पोर्ट इज़ बिकमिंग अ टफ दिस थिंग सो देर इज़ अ कॉस्ट ओवर रन विच विल ऑल्सो हैपन तो so, जब आप ये कंस्ट्रक्शन करने जा रहे हैं तो आप ये चीज़ें ध्यान रखिए कि ये ओवर रन आएगा इंटरेस्ट विच वाज लाइक सिक्स एंड हाफ सेवन परसेंट इवन ऑन कंस्ट्रक्शन लोन टुडे इज लाइक सेवन सेवन एंड हाफ परसेंट तो सडनली वी आर सीइंग अ टेन फिफ्टीन परसेंट इन्फ्लेशन विच इज कम ऑन ओनली ऑन द इंटरेस्ट कॉम्पोनेंट यू डेफिनेटली वुड नीड द बेसिक डॉक्यूमेंटेशन दो डॉक्यूमेंट्स आर द रिकॉर्ड ऑफ टाइटल द रिकॉर्ड ऑफ राइट विच इज द रेवेन्यू रिकॉर्ड You have two levels of mutation. Let me 
draw it by boxes so you understand um, there is a record which is called the record of rights which is usually record of rights which usually is a record uh, for the government to know who is responsible to pay the revenues or the property tax against that piece of plot or that particular house now you would normally have people who actually are the owners of the property which basically will have their names figured out on these rights the second record is called the record of title uh, owner who's the actual owner of the property so you will have uh, one or two names depending whether it's a sole ownership or a joint ownership usually these documents should correlate it should speak to each other if there is a building upon that plot of land, then uh, the building plans, the sanctioned building plans, the occupancy and completion certificates, if applicable, that is to a completed building. These are the basic documentations you would need to be able to even make a decision that whether you should buy the property and then subsequently apply for a bank loan. Because the banks also would be want these basic documentation. <laughs> আপনার ঘরটোই আপনার পরিচয় হৈ পড়ে এই পরিচয় মজবুত করি রাখার শক্তি আপনার হাততেই আছে আপনার প্রতিটো সিদ্ধান্তই হল অত্যন্ত গুরুত্বপূর্ণ আপনি হয়তো জানি আসরিত হব যে যেতিয়া ইংরেজ সকলে তাজমহল দেখিলে তেতিয়া তেওঁলোকে ইরখার বহবর্তী হৈ কলকাতাত ভিক্টোরিয়া মেমোরিয়াল বনালে আজি তাক ইরখার প্রতীক রূপে গণ্য করা হয় এই চিত্তাকর্ষক তথ্যটির হইতে আজিলৈ আমি আপনার পৰা বিদায় লবলৈ ওলাইছো অহাবাৰলৈ লগ পোৱাৰ প্ৰতিশ্ৰুতি দে কাৰণ পৰৱৰ্তী শোত আমি কথা পাতিম ভেটি অৰ্থাৎ ফাউণ্ডেচনৰ বিষয়ে